And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 21st of September 2023, and it's the morning after the night before, with the Fed giving its interest rate decision and press conference subsequent to that. And the markets are responding accordingly. It's Mike Smith, Senior Amnesty Go Markets, leading around what's happening today around about the midpoint of the Asian session. So let's check out what's happening in the news. Of course, we saw US markets drop subsequent to uh, that rate decision. And really, this was on the back of not the fact that they did what they said they were going to do in terms of pausing, uh, but they signaled higher rates for a longer period of time than perhaps they initially anticipated. That upset the markets, and we're seeing a continued upset in this morning's price action across multiple asset classes in Asia. So the risk on assets are taking a little bit of a hammering. We're seeing the US futures down in early Asian trading. Asian markets are following that weak US lead across the board. The ASX is trading towards its lows of the session, uh, around about 1.3% down, and European futures are also pointing to a lower open in excess of a percent across all the major indices. It's also seen the VIX rise from support around its pre-pandemic levels, which we referenced before. And the US dollar is being a beneficiary of this. We're seeing it strong against most crosses, and the US dollar index is at six-month highs and up against just about everything today. Gold is pulled back in the US session and continued that move down in Asia on that USD strength. And we're seeing also weakness in copper and oil, both retreating as well. Bitcoin is holding over the 200 MA, but is looking soft in Asia so far. At one bright spot today, if you're in New Zealand, the GDP beat expectations slightly. And the big data doesn't stop. We've got UK and Swiss interest rate decisions out this afternoon. And then US weekly jobs and manufacturing data due out later. Interesting to know how the market respond to those if those come in okay. The UK are expected to raise rates by 0.25%. But one wonders whether they may reconsider that after yesterday's UK CPI was a lot lower than expected when that came across yesterday afternoon. Let's have a look at a couple of charts of interest. And we're going to start with the Euro Aussie. Here's the hourly chart just so you can see the detail. But this is what's happened today. So we are looking at 166 as an important level. Uh, we could see a 50 pip move at least to the upside if we breach 166. But you can see the stubbornness that perhaps may exist at that level if we look at the last couple of days ago and the day before that. So uh, worthwhile being patient for a breach of that level. On the ASX, very slim pickings today in terms of potential opportunities. We are seeing some buying coming into EML at 114 today which uh, is a really nice pickup from this drop here we have this big earnings pop and continuation up to around about 122 so you can see this move up here suggests that we may well be going up to retest that uh, that is a very reasonable 6.3 uh, percent from where we're trading right now as i said if we put this on a line chart you can see this in a little more detail so we've come down tested support and we are at the high now for in excess of a week. So that's one to keep an eye on for a short term trade up to perhaps 122. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.